they would put a hole in the entire community and this section of the city if this school were to die uh, or to be closed. And I, I just I want to do everything possible to make sure that the board of trustees feels informed and knows the impact of the school, both on the, the families, the kids, the community, and just everybody that's ever interacted with it. Like there's a ton of alumni tonight and you can see like the, the impact has spanned generations and we want to keep that going. I want to see the information. Like what I heard tonight was a very compelling, um, just the, the idea of the school, the community, the walkability, um, but there's other voices that I also want to give a balanced um, decision. So I want to hear from everybody. So I'm really looking forward to all of the surveys, um, all of the written submissions, and the ones that we never heard tonight. So I want to hear it all before any decision gets made. This city is big on infill in mature neighborhoods. That's a huge priority. It's going to happen. We see that uh, zoning is changing. It's allowing for uh, multifamily dwellings. It's easier than ever to, um, to invest in the uh, community as far as uh, uh, infrastructure and housing and uh, rebuilding our community. It's, it's going to happen soon. And so in like five, 10 years, if we've closed this school, are we going to open it up again when there's a demand? It's a whole lot harder to open up a school once it's been closed than to just invest now. Everybody knows everyone's name. Uh, the parents all know the other parents. I mean, it's again, it's a takes a village to raise a child, and we have our village here.